Uh, good evening, everyone, uh, and thank you for joining us tonight in our community meeting for uh, Boomer Heights and Overton Park Street Improvement Project um, 2018 bond year three contract six and uh, city project number 101452-2. Um, my name is, is Megat Zeki, and I am a project manager with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department uh, Capital Delivery Team. Uh, I will be the project manager for this project during the construction. So uh, back in November last year, we uh, had the public meeting for this project during the design phase. And now this is the meeting before we start the construction. Um, so this presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that is happening in your area and um, give you a little bit of a heads up about what to expect and also to share the schedule of the upcoming construction with you. In this presentation, I will talk in detail about the project overview and the scope of the work. Also, I will provide you with information on the schedule of the construction, so you will be able to know um, when we will start and finish the construction in your street. During the meeting, you can send your questions through the chat option in WebEx. Um, the chat button is located at the lower side of the WebEx screen. Uh, at, at the end, I will answer all your questions. If you are joining the meeting from your phone or you cannot send your question, uh, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask uh, your question. So in this project, we have uh, five streets. Uh, we have Culver Avenue from Mark's Place to Ben Rose. Avenue. Uh, we have also Ronox Street from Culver Avenue all the way to Wakelift Street. We have uh, Marys Creek Drive from Highway 377 to Bamilla Drive. Uh, also, we have Overton Park Drive East from Fox Hollow all the way to the south to Altura Court. And we have Altura Court to Overton Park Drive East. In this slide, you can see the existing condition of the street. Um, these pictures are from Mary's Creek Drive. And as you can see, the poor condition of the asphalt paving. Um, there is no concrete curb and gutter on the street. And here on this picture, you can see um, there is no concrete driveway, just a gravel uh, driveway. Also here, uh, the picture on the left side is from Ronok Street. And uh, as you can see, uh, the damaged paving. And the picture on the right side is from Overton Park Drive East. And you can see also the poor condition of the asphalt paving. Um, now let us talk in detail about the scope of each street and what the city is going to do. Uh, on Culver Avenue and Roanoke Street, uh, we are replaced the existing six inch and eight inch water lines with new eight inch water line. Uh, all the driveways will be reconstructed uh, with new concrete driveway um, with minimum 11 feet width and 10 feet length. And then the street will have a new asphalt paving with new concrete curb and gutter. Uh, on Mary's Creek Drive, will replace the existing 12-inch water, water line with new 12-inch water line. Uh, we also 
uh, replacing the existing 8 inch and 24 inch old tenant sewer line with new 8 inch and 42 inch sewer line. Um, we also uh, constructing concrete driveways with 11 feet width and 10 feet length. Um, Nearest Creek, I'm sorry, uh, we also uh, are going to construct new five feet sidewalk on the north side of the street from um, Highway 377 all the way to Linden Drive. Mirrors Creek from Highway 377 to Linden Drive will have a new asphalt paving and a new concrete curb and gutter. Uh, the rest of the street from Linden Drive all the way to Pamela Drive will have new asphalt paving. Uh, on Overton Park Drive East and Altura Court, um, we are replacing the existing old 6-inch and 12-inch water line on Overton Park um, with new 12-inch water line. And on Altura Court, the old 4-inch water line will be replaced with new 8-inch water line. Uh, we also are replacing the existing 18-inch old sanitary sewer with 24-inch new sewer line on Overton Park. And on Altura Court, we are replacing the existing 6-inch old sanitary sewer with new 8-inch sewer line. Overton Park from Fox Hollow, uh, all the way down to the bridge, will, uh, we are going to construct new concrete driveway with minimum 11 feet width and 10 feet length, and the street will have new asphalt paving with new concrete curb and gutter. The rest of the street from the bridge and to Altura Court, and Altura Court will have new asphalt paving. Here in this slide, you can see the proposed improvements. So every street in this project will look like that when we finish the construction. Um, every street will have new concrete driveways, nice curb and gutter, and new asphalt paving. Um, here in this slide, is the most important part in my presentation. Um, here, uh, this slide show our expected schedule of the construction. The project duration is 510 calendar days or 17 months. And before we go in detail in uh, the project schedule, I would like to make everyone aware that these dates are estimated so uh, we'll do our best to stick with the schedule, but as you know, we may be a little bit late on some street or maybe ahead of schedule on the other street. Uh, this will depend on the weather condition and rains during the construction. So first, we'll start the construction on uh, Culver Avenue, and this will be on January 3rd. 2022 after the holiday, uh, and we anticipate to finish by April 18, 2022. The second street will be Roanoke Street, and we will start by Feb uh, February 4th, 2022 to May 20, 2022. The next street will be Overton Bark Drive East and Altura Court. Um, Overton Park Drive is a part of Cowtown Marathon that will take place by the end of February 22, 2022. So we'll start the construction on this street after the marathon. Uh, we are planning to start on 
um, March 3rd, 2022, and we anticipate to complete the construction on this street by August 11th, uh, 2022 also. The last project, uh, the last street in this project will be uh, Mary's Creek Drive, and we are planning to start the construction on June 24th, 2022, uh, with completion date of May 29, 2023. Uh, again, the total project duration will be 510 calendar day or 17 months. Uh, here is my phone number and my email address. Please uh, don't hesitate to contact me if you need any information. Uh, Steve uh, Cisneros is the city uh, construction inspector on this job, and he will be your first point of contact. Um, he will be available on, the, in, on your street every day, so you can contact him easily. Uh, I hope I have covered everything in this presentation. Uh, again, thank you so much for your taking the time to listen. I am sorry that we couldn't meet in person due to the public health concerns. Um, and now this is the time to listen to your inputs or your question. Um, I'm not sure if we uh, have question in the chat or if not, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask any question you want. Maggot, it's Jeff. We do have one question in the chat. Paul would like to know who the contractor uh, is on the project, specifically handling Overton Park East, but uh, I think it's the same contractor for the whole thing. So. Um, the main contractor on this project is Texas Bit. Um, and uh, we have a lot of projects uh, with them. Also, I was wondering, uh, I know it's not related to this, but it's in the area of Overton Park. And I was curious about the um, when Ranch View paving will be completed between Overton Park West and Hewlin, if you don't mind. Between Ranch? On Ranch View between Overton Park West and Hewlin. Um, I'm sorry, I, I don't have this information now, but uh, if you okay. can send me your contact information, we can. Megan, I can yes, take sir. that question. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Mary Hanna. I'm the engineering manager over Neighborhood Street. You are yeah. talking about the project under construction currently. Um, so we had an issue with the project, so we have to uh, execute a change order. So the plan now may be around February, March. Uh, hopefully we can execute the change order and do it. If we can convince a contractor to do it faster than that, we are working on it. Uh, thank um, you. But I appreciate that. I, I knew uh... At a neighborhood meeting, it was supposed to be around Thanksgiving, so I was just curious and sorry. I know that's not part of the uh, this, uh, this project. Yeah, yeah, this project, but I, I appreciate your input. Thank you. Yeah, um, we having issue with the project. We need to execute a change order. That's why it's late. I'm okay. sorry for that. <laughs> Megan, we have a couple more questions in chat. Um, Gary would like to know if water is going to be interrupted at times, and if so, for how long? Uh, so before we start construction on every street, we will uh, distribute a door hanger to um, every, uh, every property will be affected during the construction. Uh, and in this instance, door hanger, you will uh, know all the information when we are going to start. If there is a water uh, disconnection, also uh, we will know. Um, uh, all the people will be, all the 
people on the street will be placed on temporary water, so the water will be interrupted only during the disconnection or during the switch to the temporary. Uh, but uh, as I told you, uh, we are going to distribute the door hanger before, uh, so you will know before that time. Thank you, Megan. And there is uh, one more. Is it possible to get permits to change the location of the driveway? Um, so, uh, we may need to, to see, uh, after. I'm not sure if the one who asked this question, you already have a driveway, a concrete driveway, and you need to cancel. We can discuss that on the site. If you can send me your address. Um, can you please send me the address, and we can discuss that? Megan, there aren't any other questions uh, in chat at the moment. So. Yeah, for this uh, question for the driveway, um, I hope if um, here's my email address and my phone number, please send me the, uh, your information and the uh, address so we can look at this uh, case um, and see what we can do. Um, any other question? Please feel free to to ask whatever you want. Also, feel free to unmute yourself at this point if you have a question. Um, there's not uh, there's not much in chat, so if you have if you'd rather just uh, talk, feel free to unmute. And this uh, this uh, presentation is uh, will be is recorded and it will be on the uh, city YouTube channel. So uh, if you missed any part, uh, you can watch it. And also again, here is my uh, email address and my phone number. Please feel free to contact me anytime. Also, the city uh, construction inspector, um, and we are happy to answer any question. Um, thank you so much for attending this presentation, and uh, we uh, hope to work with you all. Thank you so much. Megan, I will add, um, I'm going to post the web page, um, the link to the project page uh, on our city website, uh, so anyone who's here can get that. Uh, and that, that information will be uploaded monthly once the project construction actually starts. So it might be an easy place for you guys to get updates um, if you're interested. Thank you, Jeff.